of Sam and Colby. Today we're going to be rating the top celebrity ghost stories, starting with Vin Diesel. I grew up in this kind of haunted building called West Beth. Yeah. Which was uh, a wonderful building. Oh, building? Oh, yeah. Oh, an apartment. Uh, Probably an apartment. Really but for some reason, it was haunted. That's it? Come on, dude. Why didn't you give a little more info? That's a D. That is a D. That's, That's a big D. D. Get the D, Mr. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Wanda Skies. No, Sykes. Wanda Sykes. Because after the show, I get back to the hotel, and it's a it's a historic hotel, the Jefferson in, in, in Richmond, in Virginia. So we heard of that one. Yeah. yeah, that's a famous one. I said somebody else is in this room. Oh, I didn't. I just had to make sure that it wasn't the you know the alcohol. Right. But I was, <laughs> that happens. Oh, something is in the room. And I kind of like looked out the corner of my eye, and it was this this woman. It was an old black woman, right? And she just was looking at me. So I was like this, and she just was looking, but I didn't feel like she was gonna hurt me. She just was like happy to see me. Like, Damn. whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. See, we still. Have Ever seen like a full body apparition that just stays there? Why can't that shit happen to us? That's actually amazing. If that's better than what we have ever seen, that's probably an A. Yeah, no, I agree. Maybe we save the S tier to see if anybody like levitated. That's definitely an A. All right, Wanda's going to A. Demi Lovato. Can we talk about your house in Texas? Because there's a, there's, I, I'm obsessed with this stuff. You have a haunted house. I do. All right, and it's real. Ellen's obsessed with haunted. I was gonna say, Ellen has a lot of haunted. Interviews. Hey, Ellen. What do you mean it's your house? It's a house that your family lives in, or you live? It's in? the house that I grew up in in Texas. So technically, it's my parents' house. Okay. But has um, it been haunted since you grew, since you were a little girl? You yes. When I was a little girl, my mom walked into a, the room. I was talking to something. What? And my mom was like, "Who are you talking to?" I was like, "It's the little girl in the picture frame." My little sister ended up doing that when she was around the same age. <laughs> same thing. What? She's talking to someone in a painting, and that's really cool that they both had the same experience. When they were really little. It's literally like an imaginary friend. Children are known to see spirits better. I see dead people. They're more open-minded. Hmm, I would give that like a B. Yeah. It's not as cool as Wanda. Yeah, maybe it's just an imaginary friend, who knows? B for Demi. Keanu Reeves! Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. You have? Yeah, when I was a kid. It it's always the kids. It is. So I'm like a little kid, I'm probably like six, seven years old. Uh, nanny, in the bedroom, She's sitting, my sister's asleep, she's sitting, uh, sitting over there, I'm like hanging out, there's a doorway. All of a sudden we're looking over there and this like jacket comes waving through the door. There's no head, there's no body. He's a great storyteller. No and then it disappeared. And I was a little kid and I thought, okay, well that's interesting. And then I looked over at the nanny and she's like this. Oh! oh they both saw it at the same time. Oh. That's what I love is when you see something and then they see it too before you say anything because yeah. then you know it's like double confirmation. I love that. I think that's even more convincing than Demi. So that's an A too? That might be an A. We're giving two A's? Selena Gomez? I love her! Let's go. How do you believe in ghosts? Yes, Danielle. I have a ghost in my house for sure. Give me a story. What happened with a ghost? Everybody just have a ghost in their house? There are three people that have seen it. My mom, my ex-boyfriend, and myself. Justin? Justin? It's a good ghost, which makes me happy. It is a girl ghost in a white dress. There's a dollhouse okay. above um, my house. Like a creepy dollhouse that I guess the couple before us had children and they'd go up and play. That's so. kind of creepy just to have a dollhouse. Yeah. 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 I pulled up one night with my parents. We get out of the car. We'd gone to dinner. And I see someone run by and it was Ooh. a girl in a white dress. And I freaked out. Yeah. So I made Brian, of course. I made Brian go up there and check. And I was like, do you see anything? And he's like, no. Okay, so then three months go by. I'm sitting here having a conversation on the balcony with my um, with my ex-boyfriend and we were- Justin! Out. He, all of a sudden, he stops and he was like, oh my gosh. And I go, what? Don't do that. What? What happened? Walk back in the house and he goes, I just saw like a white oh, figure when a dress walked That's past crazy. you. Then the third encounter was my mom. We were sitting in the house and she heard something outside so she made Brian, of course, go check it. <laughs> so he goes out and he checks it and my mom, my mom turns around and she sees on the little deck someone walk by in white. What? She turns around and she goes, why is Brian running? And she turns around and Brian was right there. Whoa! All of their experiences have to do with her running. So this little girl's running, but the fact that it was the same style over and over and over again, over a long period of time is super interesting. Why can't we see these things? Why can't we get that on YouTube? Everyone is always like, why do you believe in ghosts? This. Everyone has a story. No matter who you are, where you come from, what's your background, even if you're not into the paranormal, people have a story. I don't know. I don't want to give another A. I think it's probably a solid B, seeing something multiple times in a row. Yeah. It wasn't clear. It wasn't like she was standing and seeing something. Give her a little B. Let's go. Selena with the B. <laughs> All right, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah! 
Yes! I love Oprah. I woke up in the middle of the night. I saw a ghost in the room. I saw this, this figure, clear figure, moving across the floor. I start saying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, so she can talk, too. She can talk. The figure moved itself and moved and went right through the wall, just left. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So interesting. This says to me. I had the worst night of my life. I was fighting this ghost all night long. Finally, I was able to push him under the door. And I said, and you pushed him in my room! <laughs> Oprah! I love that. Come investigate with us, Oprah. Yeah, Oprah, you want to see a real freaking guess? There is a possibility that that was a dream because she did say she woke up from sleep paralysis at first. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if 100% that is as convincing as the other story. I'd give that one like a C. A C for Opie? Damn, I just hate doing my girl Oprah like that. Vanessa, how'd you and Zoot? I have heard she's really into ghosts. <laughs> Vanessa! Yo, Vanessa, hit the freaking line! I heard that you have a new passion in life. Are you obsessed with ghosts? I hear you are. It's not really a new passion. Okay. See, she's obsessed with this. I've accepted the fact that, like, I see things and I hear things. Oh, a handbag magazine! <laughs> Yo, wait, is that the Velisca Axe Murder House? It <laughs> is! Yo! Oh, oh, she's reading up God. on our video real quick. Vanessa, hit the line. Getting ready for school when I was eight years old and there was like, you know those ducks that like, is like the duck thing that you pull, it's a toy. What? Oh, like the multiple the ducks in a row. started like going alongside me and I was like, Interesting. And I kind of shut it down for a while because like it's scary, but I recently was like, no, this is like a gift, something that I'm I have the it. ability to do. So I'm gonna lean into it. And I recently did my first like real paranormal investigation, like with equipment. There we go, come on. <laughs> my favorite thing is called a spirit box. Yeah! yeah! Let's go, Vanessa. That's awesome. She has a bunch of experiences throughout her whole life and she actually goes ghost hunting. I would say she's S tier, dude. She's like, a, S. Oh, she goes ghost hunting. She's had a, like, she said a ton of different paranormal experiences. She's like our level, dude. Are we judging this based off of their scary experience or what they do in their life? Her scary experience was she was walking along and then a toy next to her was also walking around along right next to her. Okay, we'll, okay, we'll give her S tier. This is an S. Come on, come on. Regina Hall? Regina Hall? friend and I, Pia, she was there, obviously, and we were about four and six, and we were taking a bath in the bathtub playing, and a shirt flew in, arms outstretched. Pia, you know- Wait, what the fuck? That's really arms crazy. Hovered over the little tub, and then it fell in. And like- Yo, that would be terrifying <laughs> as a little kid. What? That is- Yeah, see, that's our reaction. What? How is she not scarred for life for that? I don't know, because maybe it didn't seem like sinister. Maybe it was just kind of like, what the fuck? I would be telling that story to every person I ever meet, if that happened. She told it to millions of people. That's true, I guess. Can you say S tier right It there? has to be if we rated the other one A tier. That might be S tier. All right, she's up there, S tier. Chloe Grace Moritz. Seven or eight years old, we lived in a house here. All these kind of weird things would go on and, and they would be kind of innocuous in the beginning, like little taps on the windows in the middle of the night. I was in the bathtub, in my mom's bathtub. Another bathtub! And she was bathing me and I looked up and there was no air or anything. And there was a chandelier above the bathtub, a little boat and it was just going left to right, to left to right, out of nowhere, and then it just stopped the minute that I noticed it. Weird. Yeah. Did your mom see it? My mom saw it. I Wait, so was the chandelier there? Yeah. Okay, the so it was just moving was... back and forth. I would say that's less convincing, because who knows? Maybe the mom accidentally hit it when she was like, walked into the room. Have you noticed how many people are little kids? Everybody's a little kid, so. I'm kind of compares to Demi and Selena, so I would say either B or C. I might go for a C. Honestly. All right, all right, you're going with Oprah. Sorry, Chloe. Laura Linney. I was doing a play, and I was doing a play with Jane Alexander, and I uh, yeah. turned to Jane James Corden and is like, I looked up to the upper balcony. <laughs> yeah. The upper balcony can only be, um, you can only get in from the outside. And I looked up, and there was a woman standing they're all seen. Looking over with a blue dress and blonde hair. I just looked at her and then I looked back at Jane and I looked back up and she was gone. And I didn't say anything to anyone for a while. And I went to the house manager and I said, Joe, I said, I think I saw a ghost. Mm. And he went male or female. I said, female. And he went blue dress, blonde hair. Oh, wow. Whoa, they I just knew. got chills. They knew. Oh, that's really creepy. She saw this when she was acting. So that means she was like an older person yeah. while she was seeing this. So yes, I definitely believe all these kids, but it is really cool to get a ghost story from an older woman. It's weird that almost every one of these celebrities like saw something visual happen. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good one. Maybe that's a B. 
a B, is a B. Comment down below which story you think is best. Do you agree with us about the S tier stories? Yes, and do you guys want to see us collab with Oprah? Comment down below. <laughs> Just Oprah. We only want her to come on our channel now. <laughs> see you next time.